Here's a driving video on the SL550, 34,000 miles, 2008. Uh, it's got paddle shifters here, if you see, which is pretty awesome for this model. Uh, just dropped it down to third gear. We're gonna take it right here. Second gear, I accidentally put on cruise control, but we shut that off now. Second gear, shift to third gear. work great. Acceleration is awesome. Plenty of power. Let's hope this car doesn't crash into us. We're going to take a little left here. AC works great. Is that, a, is that a stop for them? Yeah, it's a stop. I'm using the paddle shifters, by the way, guys. driving experience at speed. These handle really well. They sit nicely on the road, planted even more so than, like, how does it feel, Dylan? Definitely planted. Comfortable. Secure. We're driving 65, feels super smooth, no vibrations, brake work, brakes work great, comes to a complete stop. solid turning radius for a big car. Picks up quick. Go yeah. faster than you think you're going. Absolutely. DC works well, which is nice.
around those bends, you don't yeah, feel like you're going to go super anywhere. Planted. Yeah. Super planted. And it's also quiet. Uh, it's a relaxing drive. Because it's a, it's a hard top and a convertible, it gives you that added quietness that you don't get out of a car that has a soft top convertible. So you get a lot less road noise, you get a lot less outside noise, wind noise as you drive versus cars that are convertibles with a soft top. So a huge plus of the hard top is that. Plus you feel more insulated, so your temperature maintains colder as opposed to cars that are like soft tops, which it's really hard to cool down the interior. These cool down well. And we'll give it a little, we'll give it a little gas here. guys.